Good morning folks, I'm just doing a quick update video on my LEDs and I'm in my man cave which is our motorhome and I'm going to change um, some bulbs in here. Now in here before originally was halogen and they were 20 watts each and there's two in each circle if you can see and two in each light, light fitting and underneath as well. well. I've changed that one but underneath here these were, if you can see that very it's a bit blurry anyway they're all around the camper uh, one underneath there as well and there's two halogen ones in the overhead uh, extractor fan unit uh, these are 20 a piece 20 watts a piece so I remember when we first got this vehicle I started um, putting the lights on we don't hook up if we can help it we do free camp free roaming and um, off-grid as much as we possibly can uh, so the, you need to consume your power. So having 20 watt bulbs on here, they lasted four hours and then we had an emergency beep coming on the, on the batteries and depleted all the batteries. So I changed them for LEDs. So I'm just going to do a quick update on the LEDs because they need replacing now because a couple have gone and they're flickering and fading. So I'm going to replace them. Well, I was going to replace it with this. And if you can see that properly, this is called a cob bulb. Uh, if I can zoom in a little bit, maybe not. Can you see that properly? Don't know. Anyway, these are cob bulbs, and they're absolutely brilliant um, because they are extremely bright. But we had a bit of an issue, and the issue was I can't get this to focus properly. Come on. Bear with me. Oh, nearly had it then. There we go. So we can get it from there. And the issue we yeah, there we go. The issue was that I fitted these, and these are very uh, how can I put this polarity sensitive. In other words, positive, negative, and negative to positive. It's got to be going the right way. Um, and I fitted them, not knowing that too much, to be honest with you, because this is. This vehicle we're in is a Caravan International and it's an Italian um, make and manufacturer which the polarity is slightly different actually um, and you've got to get it the right way around. Well it doesn't tell you these when you buy these so I fitted these and they are they're absolutely superb bulb but I fitted them and it ended up with um, almost setting the bloody thing on fire because they started to melt and smolder and the solder started to burn through the rubber coating because these are just rubber. You can see that it's just rubber all the way around. I mean, brilliant bulb, but not from Italian manufacturers. So now I've purchased these new ones, um, and these are not polarity polarity dependent. They can go either way: positive, negative, negative, positive. Doesn't really matter. They'll sort themselves out. So I will fit these in a bit. Well, I'll fit one now. I can hold the camera <clears throat> and they really is their g4s because the pins and they're very very simple to fit if you can see that if it focuses in yep bear with me and just line them up there's only push and that's it they just push in a little bit of a test if I can see the light switch boom they're bright as well they're 1.5 to 1.9 watts which is what I want so I just dropped my power consumption down considerably from the halogen so I'll fit they, they take two in each so that's five so that's what what that's three six watts just in the headlights so in the head um, roof lights so that'll be brilliant but yeah, just a cautious word of warning on these cobs. They're fantastic bulbs. Okay. Focus again. Yeah, fantastic bulb. Super bright. Yeah, I don't know what they're like in other vehicles. But yeah. So they say DC12. Um, but and there were on some of them I did I did read. You can just about see the positive again. Oh, I can't see it. Can you see that? Yeah. 
No, I don't know. Anyway, so fantastic bulb, but be careful, okay? Because mine melted and they bust. So uh, I'm not going to complain about the bulb. I just have to get the right one for the right for the for the vehicle you've got. So on that, thanks very much. I hope it's been a help. I will put a link in um, the description down below uh, where I got these new halogen ones from. They are from China, but they are based, it's an, uh, an English-based distribution company. So I got them today. All right. So thanks for watching. Take care. Be careful with these little bulbs. And uh, I'll see you in the next vid. Cheers.